When we talk about the confluence of pain and palliative care for cancer patients, we have to consider that there are a variety of types of pain that, that impact the patient from the time of diagnosis all the way through treatment and through survivorship, whatever that uh, amounts to. So there are tumor-related pain issues, there are cancer treatment-related issues, there are non-cancer pain-related issues, and our effort to focus on the patient having the best quality of life possible, we try to address all of those, the tumor-related pain, the treatment-related pain, and then also those non-cancer pain issues that may adversely impact the quality of life. The ideal is that we help the patient move through their cancer experience with the best quality of life they possibly can have. I would hope that primary care providers can understand the overlap and intersection of pain management and palliative care principles applied to the cancer patient so that they can uh, focus on the individual patient and optimize whatever treatment regimen they prescribe uh, to address as many pain and related symptom issues as possible. I would hope that people would understand that the focus has to be on the individual patient and their experience and optimizing their quality of life for as long as they have life, whether that's a short time or another 50 years. I think, I think that there are few enough adequate tools in our toolkit, our armamentarium to treat pain, whether it's cancer pain or any type of pain, that we need as many uh, additional tools as we can possibly get and opioids are one of those tools. And in my practice, uh, our, our approach is primarily pharmacotherapy, uh, punctuated with multidisciplinary, multimodal care to the extent possible. But we uh, use opioids as the cornerstone of that foundation of pharmacotherapy. Now, in the non-cancer patient, in the chronic pain world, I recognize some of the adverse issues that have come to light in recent years, but I also recognize that there are some patients for whom opioid pain therapy is a viable option and can be safely prescribed. And so I would hate for uh, patients to be deprived access to opioids when that might be the best available option for them.